<laughs> and I said, hey, I'm Derek's sister. And he said, oh, yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> and he took his hat off and he gave me a hug. And I was he like, He loves wow. you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I, I can hear him. He's right there. Yeah. 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 And then he turned around and he looked at Derek and he said, my man. <laughs> yeah. The biggest hug ever. <laughs> I just met freaking Jelly Roll. Derek is death grip on Jelly Roll's jacket. And dad is like pulling him away. But when he pulls Derek, Derek's pulling Jelly Roll's jacket. And one of the things that just really struck me was... Um, Jelly Roll said that he grew up in a Southern Baptist home and going to a Southern Baptist church. And after he started playing these big venues, um, people were commenting that they went to the Jelly Roll concert. They went to church. And he was like, oh, no, like, you, you can't say that. Like, that's, I, you can't, you can't compare me to church. Like, church is church. Jesus is Jesus. You can't compare me to him, right? But, but, and his wife said, Jay, some of these people will never step foot in a church, but they're going to come to your concert and they're going to hear your faith. This is church. Welcome to Baker's Bettering. We got Lana's store this evening, plus we did meet a freaking hottest celebrity in country we're going to talk about today. Derek, I have news for you. I don't know if you know about this. I do love news. Did you know there's a new Scooby-Doo show? New Scooby-Doo show? Yes. Well, that's, Where? That's funny. Chris and I have been watching it. How was it? It's good. It's on HBO Max. Or HBO. I don't know. I don't know if the Max still needs to well, be in there I, or not. I will. Huh. Wait, uh, is it a like a weekly show or a movie? Or? I think there's two seasons of it. Derek loves Scooby Doo. He me did too. love Scooby Doo when he was a kid. I he, don't. He, true. Well, I mean, they don't make it anymore. So. Yeah, but we had all kinds of Scooby Doo DVDs. What's and your things. What's your guys' favorite Scooby Doo movie from the cartoons? Hmm. Creeper. Wasn't there one with their creeper? The creeper. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, oh yeah. That's old school. <laughs> well, I remember you liked so that when you were little. When we were little, we would travel and we would be in the car all the time. And Derek had this DVD player and it like kind of strapped up between the two front seats. So it was like hanging in the middle. So all three of us could watch it in the back seats. And Katie and I rarely got to choose what was going on that screen that because was. it was Derek's DVD player. And Katie and I just got to watch what Derek chose. And Derek tended to choose um, Scooby Doo or Sky High. Yeah, <laughs> Sky High was big. You know what Eric did one time? I was so pissed. So we're we were doing one of our many road trips. I don't know how old the kids were, but um, we go to a Walmart. We had gotten talking about vacation. He thought, oh, well, the kids should watch Vacation not remembering that the original vacation was rated R <laughs> and the language in there, there are more F bombs than in one of jelly roll songs. Let's just put it that way. And so we buy this vacation pack and it has three or four vacation movies and Eric p puts it in and we're up in the front seat giggling, even though we can't see it, we know like we've seen it so many times. So we're laughing just at hearing the audio and then all of a sudden, it's F this, and F that, and F this. I'm like, oh, God, we're like parents of the year here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a new Scooby-Doo show. I feel like you'll have to figure out how to watch it. We'll have to work on that. I think you could probably log into Kyle's HBO. I already have the app. Well, you got to have a login in addition to the app. Oh, we do have HBO. I forget. We have HBO. Exactly. Well, you'll have to watch Scooby-Doo. You know what? I will. I am watching Young Shining on there and the other show. They watched it and I, I never watched Scooby Doo, so I will definitely will check it out. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Chris and I have been enjoying it. I thought Are it they real alert. people or is it a cartoon? It's a cartoon. Okay. But it's like, cartoon. you know how the old cartoon, it, like each episode stood alone? It's a little bit more continuous. So there's two seasons and I think there's kind of a ongoing story i mean each episode can stand alone they're always you know catching one bad well, guy of course they always, win you know the mystery machine is the you meddling unflappable. kids they do all the things but they don't they don't have as good of a theme song 
Mm. Really? No, no, no words. It's just like a little tune. Yeah. Oh. And it I was like, no, nah, it doesn't hit. Scooby Doo, where are you? We've got, got some, some work, work to, to do, do now. now. Come yeah. on, Scooby Doo, I need you. You know that yeah. shit came out when I was a kid, <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. So the I did. Very cartoon of Scooby Doo is Stephanie. Um, that helmet guy. What, what is I got the helmet was, guy? The helmet guy. Yeah, know. he was like the aquatic guy. He was a wa- he was the water bad guy. The ghost of Captain Cutler. That's totally it. Does he have one of those old like navy yes. looking things? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we actually we have, have that. We do have. Yeah. 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 So, so this n- navy guy sent us one of these back y- years ago when Jenna was doing Fan Mail Friday. He sent us one of those mask it's like a little statue thing it freaked him out <laughs> <laughs> he's like i'm like you should put this r- in your room he's like absolutely not <laughs> okay like, okay you know how creepy that thing is <laughs> <laughs> he's like nothing's gonna be nightmares we'll have to we'll have to i'll have to show it to you when yeah. we're done it's like gold or brass or something one more thing before we get to our exciting afternoon with or evening with jelly roll uh how was your special olympic softball tournament my my Softball tournament went re- really well. Yeah. Really well. And we almost won b- b- both games. You had a great comeback in the first game. But you, you guys came back did, from. We did c- c- come back. And came back within a couple of runs, but didn't com- quite get over the run, top. But it was good. It was like, a beautiful day. Was, a little too warm, actually. The whole experience of softball is just super good. Uh, I, I do miss my friends for sure, but... When does basketball start? Pretty soon. All right. We... Let, let's start from the beginning with the Jelly Roll story. So we went to SummerSlam, and Jelly oh, Roll did. opened SummerSlam. I believe he's saying, God bless America. I believe he did. And, and why out Unreal. He yeah. He sings... Nothing but a liar. Well, because he Same came back time. out. He because he came out twice. He started the show. No, he started the show, and then Triple H come, comes out, and and asking General to help out to the crowd, and, and he sings his new song, which he had just put out. Nothing but a but a liar. Great and, song. I think it's just called Liar, but yeah. Anyway, great song. And then he came back out and. Put uh, Austin Theory in his place, did he not? Yeah. Yep. That, that <laughs> did happen for that sure. That was funny. <laughs> so we. So what was There's funny a though? Part of not but a liar. He sang okay. "God God Bless America," but before this week, Dad had sent some podcasts, and he's like, Let, "We should we should you know brush up on our Jelly Roll knowledge." So I was listening to Jelly Roll talk to Joe Rogan, and he actually said on Joe Rogan that he won't sing the national anthem. Okay. And so I was like, that's funny because he did sing God Bless America. And I'm like, well, I wonder if they asked him to sing the national anthem. And he said, no, but I'll sing God Bless America. <laughs> Why won't he sing the national anthem? It just seems like he he doesn't want to get the backlash of. He what, just doesn't want to be in the middle of the bullshit, probably. Yeah. Like a lot of people get, you know, backlash for the way they do it or their rendition oh, or like Fergie and, at the uh, NBA. Yeah, yeah. And he just doesn't want to get it. It just kind of seemed it, he didn't really go into detail necessarily. He just kind of was like, uh, yeah, I won't sing uh, the national anthem, I but I to, like uh, to do stuff like that. I don't want to interrupt you, but you're going to do it anyways, but but I'm going to interrupt you. Okay. Got it. But quick. I, I have big news to share. Does it have to do with jelly roll? Well, Jelly Roll is a pretty cool guy, so I will give you that, okay? <laughs> but this, this, you, you need to listen to, okay? No, it okay, does so not have we'll come anything back to, to do Roll. with <laughs> Jelly Roll. What do I need to know? AEW Dynamite, Dynamite will be in Kansas City, Missouri. Nice. Okay. Anyways, we live in St. Louis. Um, Back <laughs> so to Jelly Roll. He was at SummerSlam. We yep. uh, we posted the posted video of podcast, Logan Paul. Or, yeah, posted the videos. I posted the video of Derek meeting Logan Paul and Jelly Roll commented on it. And he was bummed to find out that we were at SummerSlam and he was at SummerSlam, but we didn't get to say hello. 
And that's when we found out that Jelly Roll was a fan of Baker Banner. Right. And we knew that you were going to be very excited to hear that Jelly Roll was a fan of Baker Banner. So mom showed you the comment. You recorded the video. You were very emotional. You said he was your idol. You said, I freaking love you, man. And we posted that video. And he yep. also commented on that video and said, anytime, anywhere, I'd love to meet you. And that's when I immediately went to the Internet and said, well, I'm sure he's got to be coming to St. Louis. And sure enough, he was coming to St. Louis on October 23rd. Yep. And I was like, OK, how am I going to make this possible? So I, I sent many emails. I called the Bobby Bones show. I actually did talk to the... Uh, somebody that works for the Bobby Bone Show, she was trying to help us. She did say that they were going to email me. I never actually received an email, so I'm not totally sure if that ever really like came to fruition. But last week, it was like, okay, this is my Hail Mary attempt. I'm going to make this video. And I made a video. And in the video, I started off the video by saying, this message is for Jelly Roll. And if your name is Derek Allen Baker... Just keep scrolling. Don't watch this video. Did you watch it? I did not. Okay. I did go take his phone and go into his phone and watch it on his phone. So that, it, so that back up. it wouldn't get served on his following or for you page again. <laughs> so he Sneaky. would have had to have gone like looking for it to be able to, you know, She's see it. Sneaky. But he told me he didn't watch it. No, no, I did not. But so, the internet did their thing. The internet did their thing. And the next day. Thank you for all of our friends who tagged Jelly Roll and Bunny oh my gosh, and all the so people. Many so tags. many people were trying to help you out. They, I And I was a little afraid because I feel like we, get, you know, sometimes we get backlash on like asking. He gets things. everything. Blah, blah, blah. And so I was a little afraid of some backlash like that. But we really didn't get that. No, like, we really didn't get any People were excited about it. And but I feel like it was genuine because it's like Jelly Roll legitimately expressed an interest in wanting to meet Derek. I wouldn't right. just be asking it just to ask it for any random person. Right. It wasn't like, like we there were was saying, there, there was, was a, a story connection. there. There was a connection. Yeah. So the next day I get this message from Highlight and Highlight's a DJ and yeah. he is buddies with Jelly Roll. And it sounds to me like they have known each other Almost longer than anybody that yeah. Jelly Roll works with. Yeah, he mentioned that while they were on stage. He mentioned it on stage and he also mentioned it on Joe Rogan's podcast about, you know, 12 years ago, me and my buddy Highlight were playing stage number five on blah, blah, blah uh, music festival. And we thought it was the coolest thing that ever happened to us. And we were playing in the daylight. <laughs> <laughs> and... So Highlight said, you know, we saw your video. We got to make this happen. You know, whatever, whatever. He's like, I'm going to be with Jelly Roll tomorrow night. I'll, I'll let you know. So I worked it out with Highlight. We knew we were going to get to go. And I told mom and dad that we need to tell Derek we're going to a blues game. And we're going to see Louie. And I was thinking, isn't Derek going to notice? Like, I would not go to a blues game not in blues gear. Right. I mean, I just wouldn't do it. And uh, I wouldn't go to a Cardinals game, not in Cardinals gear. And I just thought, I'm like, how is he, Why is he not going to notice that I'm not in my blues well, jersey? I had an excuse for that. She did. Came up with a plan. I told her, or I said, we need to tell him that we have plans with Louie. And Louie has special outfits for us. And yeah. Louie has shirts that we're going to put on when we get there. So we don't need to wear our blues gear. But Derek didn't question it at all. He was just excited to see Louie. He was excited to see Louie. Thanks for our cover. And actually, there was a guy there dressed to the tilt in blues gear. I don't know if you saw him, but he was probably the only one. I mean, so Dad had his blues <laughs> pullover on. Dad did have his blues. Yeah. I, I did text Louie, and I was like, here's the thing. Derek's really excited to see you tonight. And turns out we're not seeing you, so we might have to make some plans. Yeah, so we might to need to see, see you. you. He's like, we, we can make that possible. Um, I actually even had asked Louie and the Enterprise Center for help trying to get in front of Jelly Roll's team. And I think the video is what really did it. We tell Derek we're going to go and we go grab dinner. At, Derek had been with me before, but mom and dad had never been. We went to the foundry. It was delicious. That it, was great. 
It was a great place. Yeah. Yeah, Lots really of popular. cool options. We met a gentleman at the grilled cheese store who knew Derek. He's like, hey, buddy. He's mm-hmm. like, I like your wrestling videos. Yeah, he was fun. Yep. Yeah, no, and then cool. I got to tell you what happened to me in the bathroom. So I was in the bathroom and there was this mom and daughter and she was so freaking cute. She was probably three and they were washing their hands they were washing their hands i I was in there too and i'm like her little voice was just the cutest she was so cute well i was kind of having a blister form on the back of my foot and she just she had this little band-aid on her finger and she was like showing me her band-aid and i was like that's cool band-aid and she's like do you want a band-aid and i'm like i mean i actually do have a blister on my foot (laughs) and her mom's like you can have a band-aid if you want (laughs) And so then this little girl goes over and she grabs the Band-Aid and she starts to hand me this Band-Aid. And I'm like, thank you so much. That's so kind. And then she looks at it and she shakes her head and she goes back and gets a different one. (laughs) And then she starts to hand me that Band-Aid. And then she like wasn't really sure she wanted to part with the Band-Aid. And she like clearly really likes her Band-Aids. And I was like, well, it's okay. If you don't want to give me your Band-Aid, I'm not too worried about it. And her mom's like, you said you were going to give her your Band-Aid. You got to give her a (laughs) Band-Aid. That's so cute. And so she did. She gave me a band-aid. And then we got in the car and we headed to the arena. And I was afraid there was going to be like billboards and stuff that Derek was going to see. So well, at- there was a ton of people who had Jelly Roll t-shirts on. Yeah, but Derek's <sighs> just so oblivious sometimes. And so I, I was more worried about signage than I, I was clothing. Or I was worried about somebody who knew us who saw the video right coming up and being like oh my god Derek I love you man you're like are you gonna meet Jelly Roll did yeah. it work out like whatever and so I was like very on edge like if I had the camera ready so that if someone was gonna recognize us I was just gonna start rolling just in case because I didn't want them to blow the surprise for us and but nobody we kind of like steered clear of the crowd until it was like we were ready to go inside and then we get over there and I'm like, okay, you guys stay out here. I'm going to go in. And good thing I didn't bring you guys in either because the the sign on the window that I had to go to, it said there was like, it was will call, but there's, you know, four windows that are open. And this one specifically says jelly roll friends and family. And I, two people in front of me, I watched them go up to that one to try to get tickets. And they're like, oh no, this is only if you're on the list. And I'm like, I bet we're on a list. Yeah, we're probably on a list. (laughs) Like, that's probably where I need to be. So I go up there and I tell him my name's Jenna and Highlight had told me it was going to be Jenna Baker plus three. And I go up there and he hands me two tickets and two passes. And I'm like, um, yeah, so I, um, I think we're actually supposed to have four. And he's like, oh, are you? And I'm like, oh God, here we go. And luckily he like pulled it up on the computer and it it had been entered incorrectly. He just had it wrong. So he gave us two. But I knew nothing. Like, I didn't know where I was supposed to be. I didn't know what we were supposed to be doing. Like, I knew nothing. And I'm, like, texting Highlight. And turns out he's on stage. Yeah, he's like, hold on a minute. I'm on stage. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, oh, my goodness. So the guy helping me gives us these passes. Well, he gave us two passes that were brown and two passes that were black. And turns out they got us two different places. Yeah. So one of them was for radio people and one of them was for friends and family. So he like sends this text. He's like, Hey, go here. And I get down there and I still don't know where jelly roll is, but it, I'm like hearing other people talk and it seems like wherever we're headed, like he could be there. And I'm not trying to just like, let Derek walk in with me at this point we had told Derek so I went in I got the tickets I got the passes and then I came back out and I'm like Derek I have something to tell you I've been lying to you we're not a- about a liar. <laughs> yeah and he's like what and I'm like do you have you noticed that nobody here is wearing blues gear and he kind of looks around he's like no <laughs> and yeah. I'm like yeah well, I'm not surprised and I was like well Turns out we're not actually going to a blues game because we're going to a Jelly Roll concert. And he's like, Jelly Roll. And then I pull out of my other pocket and I was like, and these are backstage passes. And he's like, oh, my God. And he, of course, freaks out. And then we head in and I like literally know nothing. And all they told me was go to Portal 9 and go down the stairs. 
So I like we get to Portal 9 and I'm like looking around. I'm like, I don't know where the stairs are. So I like leave them over there. I go talk to somebody else. I figure out we need to go down these stairs. But I'm hearing other people talk and it seems like Jelly Roll is like already down there. And I'm like, I'm not trying to just walk down there because once Derek sees Jelly Roll, like we're causing a scene. So I don't I need to know when we're supposed to be causing the scene. Like I'm not trying to just show up and cause a scene when it's not time to be causing a scene. Well, there's this room and good thing I didn't try to bring you guys in there because I walked in there and there he is just hanging out talking to people. But at this point, only the radio people were supposed to be allowed in there. And I had on one of the friends and family passes and I'm like, oh, well, I've got a radio pass. Like, let me go grab it. And luckily, I knew some of the people in there because I used to work in radio. So I'm like, oh, there's Dusty. There's blah, blah, blah. And he's like, OK, you can you can go in. So I go in there and I'm talking to Dusty and I'm asking questions because nobody's told us anything like I and, and highlights literally texting me back being like I'm on stage. So I go in there, I talk to him and then highlights like I'll come see you really quick. And he comes in, he says hi and he gives us these stickers. and He's like, you guys can do whatever you want. Like Jelly Roll will be around, like hang out, have fun, go with some food if you want. Still no direction, though. And I'm like, under no circumstances are we just going wherever we want. <laughs> like, I need somebody to tell me when I'm allowed to take Derek to meet Jelly Roll. Like, I don't want this. Like, once Derek gets the chance to say hello, Derek's causing a scene. So I'm not... In a good way. In, in a good way. But, I, like, I'm, I want to know that when it is time for Derek to say hello, it's acceptable. And so not I go back in there and... Luckily, I didn't bring Derek in because that would not have been the right time. And so I go ask this one guy who my friend had told me to go talk to. And he's like, oh, I don't know anything. I'm just the radio guy. And he's like, go, go talk to them. So I walk up to these other two guys and I'm like, I'm Jenna and this is what we're doing. And my brother and we're on TikTok and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. You guys need to stay out there. And we're like, I'm like, great. We will stay out there. And he's like, I'll come get you when we're ready. And I'm like perfect so at that point I actually did get to say hello to Jelly Roll and he gave me a hug and he's such a gentleman I thought it was so sweet every time he gave gave a lady a hug he took his hat off off, yeah do you notice that I didn't notice that he did he took it because at this point I was standing there with my my friend Dusty and Dusty had some friends and his brothers there and he came over said hi to Dusty Dusty introduced him to all his friends and then Dusty introduced him to me and I said, hey, I'm Derek's sister. And he said, oh, yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> and he took his hat off and he gave me a hug. And I was he like, He loves wow. you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cool. So then um, so then at this point, I, I talked to his manager and we go out and we're waiting. And there's like a lot of people. There's and a lot of people out there waiting. To at say one hello. point while I'm in there. Somebody starts to come in when it's not time for anybody to extra to be coming in. And they're like, and nope, they nope, got they nope. got yelled at. They're like, no, 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 no. Like, not now. And so I'm like, I I don't want to get yelled at. Like, I want to do <laughs> what we're supposed to do when we're supposed to do it. But nobody's telling me when we're supposed to do anything. <laughs> so then we go back out and they send off a bunch of people. They did. There was probably a group of 10, 12 people. And they said, we can't do this right now. Come back after eight o'clock. And what was left was us and yeah. then Michelle and her mom and their yeah. group and, and then the, the gal, the artist. Did you yeah. see? I wish I would have went over it. and said, show me that. She had sketched Jelly Roll's face. Is that what it was? Face. I oh, mean, I knew it was, she was some sort it of was artist. Beautiful. And I wish I would have said, can I see that? Because yeah, she was taken super talented. Anyway, yeah, and then by the time it was all over, like she had given it to him and it was gone. And then I couldn't say, Can oh, I she s- did give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if she had like a print of it, too, because I know they signed something for him, yeah. too. Maybe she had a print of it also. But anyway, yeah, so they, there was a select few people that they were like, these people can stay. You guys all got to go. And so then we're just sitting there and I'm like, Dad, you got to my back's to the door. So you got to tell me when something's happening. And then here comes Jelly Roll. Well, the first group of people he said I, hello to. I, I told you that I, I can hear them. It's right there. Yeah. 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 At this point, we si- we had gotten there first. So we're sitting in these four chairs. And I told, and we have Derek the furthest away from everyone. Well, he's everyone. in the corner. He, he can't was, see. 
He was blocked in by me and mom and dad. (laughs) And I'm like, listen, Derek, Jelly Roll is going to come out here and you need to stay put until it is your turn. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know when he's going to say hello to who, but until he is ready to acknowledge you, you need to stay put. And you did great. And he did. He was a good listener. But thank you. The first person he came to see, so there was this this organization. We could we had kind of heard him talking about it, but we hadn't really started interacting with this family yet. Well, they are with the. There was actually two two gals two, from Tennessee. Well, there was two different nonprofits oh. that were a part of the whole thing. But there's the James Best Foundation. And then there's We Feed the People. And I, I got to be honest, I'm not totally sure what the role of the We Feed the People organization was, but that was the, the older gal that was that had the glasses. I think that might had something to do with her church. Her church, yeah. yeah. But she clearly knew Jelly Roll, and they had she done had work met, together yeah, before. Yeah, she had met him before. But this James Best Foundation is very cool, and they basically, it's like Make-A-Wish, but for... People who aren't kids. They, they grant wishes for terminally ill adults. Yeah. Okay. So Up it's, to the age of 65. Yeah. So it's age 21 to 65. And I think 21 is probably the cutoff for the Make-A-Wish, Make-A-Wish. Foundation. Mm-hmm. So they kind of are putting, they're like in that role. And there was this woman, Kita. Kita's 65. She is, she's she ill. Has she has cancer. Um, and and I, you can tell. Like she was using a wheelchair. You can tell she needed to be in the wheelchair. Like she seemed like frail. very frail and like she's clearly sick. And she had never been to a concert before. And her dying wish was to get to meet Jelly Roll. Wow. Not only to get to meet Jelly Roll, but pray with Jelly Roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And actually, there's a whole story about her on Fox too. Yeah. Super yeah. cool. So... He came out first and he said hello to to Kita. And Michelle was her daughter. Yeah. And so we're sitting there and Derek is getting excited and I'm like, you need to stay quiet. Like it's not your it's not your time to shine yet. Not only is it not your time to shine at that moment, but I mean, that's a serious situation yeah. going on. Yeah, right like there. they were having a very like you know? solemn mm-hmm. and beautiful but like somber moment together. And Kita was very insistent that she wanted to stand up and give him a hug. And so she did. And she stood up and she gave him a hug. And she said, you know, I, I love your music so much. And I would really be honored if you would pray with me. And mom absolutely lost her, her shit. Then lost her now. marbles. <laughs> I got to tell you, I had a meeting this morning and I was telling them about meeting Jelly Roll. And I got emotional trying it was to tell just, them I mean it was just yeah it was amazing it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever had the privilege of witnessing and honestly I, f- I I'm glad that we got to to see that happen first and I think you know the way and he prayed over her and she prayed over him and they embraced and and he gave her every ounce of him in that moment and he he was even so moved by her story that he said, where's my phone? I want to take a picture of Miss Kita. And it was just, it was beautiful. And, you know, I have been listening to him in, do interviews and stuff. And I've listened to him come talk on the Bobby Bone show for years. And I had every expectation that he was going to be a really, really cool person. And he still like blew me away yeah. with the way he treated people and the authenticity and the way he genuinely wanted to form connections with the people he was meeting. That's exactly what WWE, WWE superstars are doing with 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 kids. You're right. They, they have. They do a lot of great things too. Struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's called C- C- Connor's care. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Connor's care. Yeah. yeah. And this was a, just a different nonprofit organization that was working with um, Jelly Roll's team. And it, it was just it was it was amazing, amazing to see and, and to witness. And then he moved on and he t- started talking to to the artist. And when he was talking to the artist, I noticed that the one gal was giving his team cards. And I knew we were going to talk about this. So I wanted to get a card. And so I could, you know, make sure we talked about the organization properly and stuff. And when I did, I told him, you know, we have a podcast and we're on social media. And at that moment, Kita's daughter, Michelle, 
the light bulb went off for her and she's like i knew you guys looked familiar <laughs> yeah she's like is, she's like is that Derek? <laughs> yeah. and she's like i love you guys nice. and her sons love Derek. and what are their names again they are ethan and logan ethan, ethan and logan. logan and we took a picture hi ethan hi logan yeah and we took a picture and and michelle got a picture on her phone so she could so- show ethan and logan and then we got to stand there and visit with her, that family for a while which was and really what a beautiful family I yeah, mean, it just, was very it was so cool. It was very cool. Yeah. I'm really glad we got to like witness it and, and, I am and glad make friends with to, them. To meet Michelle, uh, uh, she is very awesome person. Like she, they really high high energy. Mm-hmm. And you me. went and gave Kita a hug as well. And then and he said a prayer for her. Too. He did. And follows the prayer for for Kita. Yeah, it is. Very struggle having a cancer like that, mm-hmm. like for example, like breast cancer and yeah, whatever kind of cancer. Well, cancer is horrible. Cancer for sure. And let them out check your dad, mom. Yeah, my dad ha- died of cancer. Has has cancer and di- died from it. He, he did. And it's tough. It sucks, you know. My father's prayers is damn it to Kita and And her family. And her family as well. It bring us back to a uh, losing date day one, so bring us back for that. So father's prayers for, for Kita. That's very sweet, Derek. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because I missed a note, but before we were headed there, we're leaving the foundry and Derek so casually in the back seat, he's like, I think that's gunshots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I look at him and I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, there's not gunshots. There was a metal plate on the ground that the cars were driving over. And he's just like, I think that's gunshots. And I'm like, no, that's the metal plate on the ground right there. Do you see it? He's like, oh, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so then back down, we were downstairs and, and Jelly Roll was speaking with the artist. And there was, I think there was one other person that he talked to after that. And I was kind of hoping he was going to say hi to us last. But I, of course, wasn't going to. I was just going to take what we could get. And then he, it, after he had spent... You know, very genuine time. Very with genuine time. quality time with yeah. those, fa- you know, both the artist and Kita and her family, Kita and Michelle. Yeah, like it was easily like 20, 25 minutes that he had spent with everyone else. And then he turned around and he looked at Derek and he said, My man. <laughs> and I yeah. the biggest hug ever. <laughs> I just met freaking John and Roll. I know. And he said something like, I can't believe we were both at SummerSlam. I got on the airplane and I realized you were there. And I was like, oh my God, I missed him. I couldn't believe it. And you said, you're meeting me now. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a big old hug. Yeah, that's uh, right. He said the worst thing about Summer, the only bad thing about SummerSlam was he didn't get to meet Derek. Yeah. 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 But we made it happen, didn't we? We, we didn't. We didn't make it happen, and I, I, I am glad me to meet Johnny Raw, and I did talk to to Johnny Raw when when he sing his "Not About a Life song. And That was funny. You asked him a question. What question did you ask him? I asked him about Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan. Yep. He said, what, I, you, what do you think about Dom and Liv at SummerSlam? Yeah. And turning on Rhea and what did Jelly Roll say? And he said, I think Dominic is. Sing. He said, a liar. He said, He's I think Dominic is lie. nothing but a liar. And he started singing. <laughs> it then, was amazing. And then they, the two of them sang they, it together. They sang it together. It was, it was amazing. Awesome. His voice is unreal. It was that hilarious. Man. And he, like, obviously I knew he recognized us in some capacity, but I didn't know that's, like, to what That's extent. the reason why, Jenna, I wanted to make a music video. Okay, okay we'll see. Okay. Me singing Nothing But A Liar. Well, I'm certainly going to post that portion of meeting with Jelly Roll. I just don't know that there will be a whole production of a music video. But 
he actually How about said, you think about it and let me know by Sunday. Oh, now he's giving me deadlines. <laughs> um, so, but he, like, I, I knew he obviously like recognized Derek and had seen some of our videos. I didn't know like to what extent. And, but he actually like, he knew who I was and he was like, come here, girl, give me another hug. And he gave me a hug and he's like, he said, what you do is so cool. And like, he knew that I was the one that makes the videos. And he's like, I think it is so awesome. The message you guys are sending. I love watching your videos and you got to keep doing what you're doing. Like he, he was definitely tuned in to, to what we've been doing. And that was like really cool to, to know that he is uh, watching us to that extent. Yeah. He said something to dad and I too, after you guys filmed the video and he, you know, same thing, just, you know, your page is so cool. I so enjoy it. And I love what you're doing. Keep doing it. And your dad and I are like, it's all Jenna. Like, it's all Jenna. Jenna. I mean, Derek's the star, but Jenna does the work. So. Well, well get the, ready. The stars will be in the ring, in the run, run, ball. And that is. You heard it here first. Not. Not a prediction, but a spoiler. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Not to tell you about. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't tell me then. So we we spent, I would say, Mom spent about 15 go, minutes with us. To work, on, work on it together. Okay. But we can make sense. of course, Derek and I were both really excited. I did tell Jelly Roll. I said, you know, we've met a lot of really cool people, but I got to be honest. When I found out we were going to meet you, it was the first time I've been super, super excited. He's like, really? And I was like, yeah, I, I really love your story. I love what you do. And uh, that was pretty cool. And we did make a video, special video for Katie since she couldn't be there. And then we were taking pictures and Derek was being a little shithead. And I wanted I'm a picture. Sorry. I am very obsessed of general. I can't not help it. Well, of course, we take a picture of just Derek and Jelly Roll because, of course, and then I get in the photo and the three of us are taking a photo. And then I asked Derek, I said, OK, you get out now. I'd like a picture of Jelly Roll. He wouldn't get out of the freaking picture. Not happening. So then dad did take a picture of just me and Jelly Roll where he c came in close enough that he cropped Derek out. <laughs> well, later we make a I TikTok. that. We make the TikTok together that we posted and we're talking to him and we're just, you know, bantering having a good time hanging out with him whatever and dad he's about to leave and jelly rolls like give me one more hug Derek." and they hug and then dad's like well how about dad gets a picture with jelly roll yeah. and so dad hops in there i took a great photo of dad and jelly roll and then i tried to get in there again yeah the problem was she announced it yeah now it's my turn it's like Jenna, shut up. Like, just go do it well you i know, had all this stuff in my hand i like it wasn't yeah. an easy transition and Derek so I like go over to try to get a picture with Jelly Roll again. And uh, Derek uh, comes uh, in and uh, he like tries to, he reaches up to grab Jelly Roll. Dad attempts to throw Derek was, out of the way. <laughs> it was typical Derek, Baker chaos. Uh, I wish we got that I on video. Was oh, it's on video. The whole thing's in the vlog for sure. And Derek is video. death grip on Jelly Roll's jacket. And dad is like, pulling him away but when he pulls Derek Derek's pulling Jelly Roll's jacket so we never got the photo we got a chaotic photo but we never got a good photo Even of better. me and Jelly Roll and then Jelly Roll goes this is the family drama I've always wanted to be a part of <laughs> <laughs> oh I was, I was dying That's and amazing. I right in front of Jelly Roll I like kind of like swat Derek and I'm like you're such a little shit <laughs> <laughs> and that's I'm pretty sure that's what he said you know? I'm sorry I am obsessed of Johnny Roll I, I cannot know. just roll it I okay. know so then he had to leave and he was headed out and then he asked his um, assistant manager I'm not sure what Nick's title is but he asked he I had met Nick at this point and he asked Nick he's like hey where are There's those tickets at a wrestling match for me yeah, Derek and I had a wrestling match and got Jelly Roll right in the middle of it. <laughs> and uh, he a he asks Nick, he's like, "Well, where are their tickets?" And he's like, "You gotta you gotta bring him to the stage and for the beginning of the show, I'd love to see Derek's face when the show starts." And so Nick's like, "Okay, yeah, I can do that." And he tells us, he's like, "You guys can go hang out in there, have a drink, like chill out, and I'll come get you before the start of the show." 
So we go back into this little bar area. And at this point, all those other people were in there. Yeah, like they the were. People that they I don't had, know if they did get to meet Jelly Roll or not. Maybe they did after the show. Maybe they did. I don't know. Um, but so we go into that little area and we're hanging out and we're like still not really sure what we're supposed to be doing. At this point, I had gotten the guy's number. So by the way, I did miss Dynamite. Yeah, for I the Jelly Roll AEW concert. I did Dynamite because I knew I'm going to Jelly Roll concert. And you did help that in and out. Yeah. So. Was it worth it? To, to miss AEW? A- a- uh-huh. That Dynamite? Yeah. You know, Zach, it's damn worth it. <laughs> yeah. It's damn worth it. He watched it Thursday morning. Yeah. Got he up did. early. And we also, I also did mention to Jelly Roll that we had a podcast and we'd love to have him on. Yeah, he I, said I, he'd I be happy to that. do that. Yeah. So we will have to try mm-hmm. to make that happen. But then, so we're hanging out in this area and we're like, well, we don't want to miss the show. Like, is he really coming back for us? So I like text the guy and right as I text him, he's here he comes. And um, at that point, there was actually a radio host from 92.3 who came up to us and and recognized Derek and he said hello and said he liked our videos and that sort of thing. And then Nick comes back and he's like, okay, are you guys ready? And we're like, yeah, sure, we're ready. And we walk out. The Enterprise Center is absolutely packed. Every single seat. had I, It had to have been sold out. Oh, for sure. And It's kind of like Monday Night Raw. And, no, there was more people in there than Monday Night Raw, <laughs> for sure. I think so. I think I think he packed it more. Definitely. Well, because they also block off part of the areas. For yeah. Monday Night Raw. Like, um, I mean, there was a section. Monday Night Raw, off, but Friday Night SmackDown, yeah. NXT. It was packed. Absolutely. It was, it was definitely sold out. But yeah. they yeah. walk us in. We like come out in from under where like the blues players come in from the ring. And we are out on the floor and the stadium is just absolutely packed. And he like takes us into this little area. And Highlight and was on stage at the time performing. Yeah. Highlight energy. On- High energy mm-hmm. man, that guy. And oh, his outfit was so cool. He was just, he, oh, he yeah. was cool. He was cool. <laughs> and so we get taken into this area and there's like, so there was a main stage at the front of the stadium or the arena. And then there was this smaller stage at the back and they brought us into this stage at the back and I guess this little stage Jelly Roll started and ended the concert at that smaller stage. And so they're like, and that's where Jelly Roll had said, like, I want to see Derek's face when I start the show. And so that's how we knew he was going to come out there. I don't think everybody else necessarily knew that he was going to come out there. But that's where the hi- highlight and the other DJ had been performing. And so they packed a lot of people in this we, area. We were in, we were tight in there. Yeah, met some cool people though. We did. So we met <laughs> yeah. another radio host. Yeah, and you were right, Derek. You we were t- right. Her name is Liv. Ah, uh, and, and we met Max from Waterloo. Max and what was his friend's name? Um, Max and Mike. Mike. And Mike's a, a man, a tour manager. I think I've met Mike before for sure. Um, but he like does a bunch of different tours and he's like, I'm going to have to find you guys. I'll reach out next time we're in town. We'll, we can do other cool things. I'm like, you let Mike me know, Mike. Mike is re- really cool, really cool man. And, and Max was definitely got high energy. Just, yeah. Well, just like, Max is going to be all up like in me. the blog. Yeah. Max is like a supporting actor in the blog because he was right, right behind, behind Derek because yeah. he was like a foot taller. Yeah. So he, you know, let Derek stand in front of him. Yeah. And so we're standing there and my buddy Dusty was there and all the other radio people were there and and live and, and live from and the Liv point is on 105.7 the point and she loves wrestling. She loves wrestling. We could put our she her wa- on the podcast. Yeah. I'm already working on it. I gave her my number. So I told her she could come talk to us anytime. And I, I love that. You know, I, I to- told Liv. What? What did you tell Liv? Well, I told Liv. I would be your daddy. Oh, oh my wow. God, Derek. <laughs> God. That's so strange. There is no filter on this boy. If you, I know you <laughs> know and, this and by live, now. Live, laugh at that. Like, at least she got the well, reference. I'm glad she's a wrestling fan. And yeah, because don't say that to other you people. Just creeped her out, bro. Been, yeah, that's a weird thing to say. Okay. Anyways, so we're standing in this little area, and there's a big countdown on stage. Huh. Well, once highlight was done, there's this big countdown on the the, the screens, screens, and it's like counting down to Jelly Roll coming out and. 
It gets down to 10, 9, 8, and Derek's yelling, and he's counting, doing the countdown. And as soon as the, every, everything went black, Derek goes, oh, I love countdowns. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, we know, Derek. And then we didn't really know it was going to happen, but it was pretty cool because where we were sitting, we or where we were standing, we were behind all these tech guys. And all I, I actually overheard one of the guys. He said something about, you control the cameras and I control the lights or something like that. And so it was like these guys that obviously like work for the tour and you were looking at these computer screens and they've got all these different cameras on there. And the camera one says cam one me yeah. and it's jelly rolls. You like the camera somewhere on jelly rolls chest huh. and like you can see his feet and you can see him moving through the back of the arena. And it was just like, there he is. Like, I don't know where he's coming oh, from, funny. but he's coming. <laughs> yeah. It was so cool. I mean, we talk about back. I mean, backstage, like we were behind the tech crew. It was so freaking cool to That's see awesome. all the stuff they had and everything. It was, yeah. it was really cool. It was, they were cool. Super, super nice. So uh, yeah, they were, everybody was super nice. Everybody yeah. we met was amazing. Yeah. So then we're Max is pretty cool. Mag is pretty cool. Liv is super nice. And, It was a great night. So then it, we're, it we're we're hanging out back here. And it was funny because my friend Dusty, I used to work with him. And when we were headed out to the this area, he passed by us and like said hello, I guess. And or I guess it was when we were already backstage yeah. when we were in like in that little area. But whatever. He's met mom and dad before. He's met Derek. So he said hello to Derek and whatever. And one of his brothers, I guess, was like, you know, Derek. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, I used to work with a sister. And he's like, oh, my God, I watch his videos. He's hilarious. <laughs> and so when we were leaving, Dusty's like, wait, wait, wait you're leaving? Like, you, you got to say hi to my brother. And so yeah. he introduced us to his brother. But so we're standing there, and it goes down to one, and then this on, on, the screen comes up, and it's this whole, like, spiel, and you can hear Jelly Roll's voice talking. And then he actually came in from the entrance that the hockey players come in from, walked right through the crowd with his son. I believe it's his son. It's his, his son, son Noah. And, and Bunny, his wife. And um, they come in and they they get right in front of the stage. And then he walks up on the stage and we have this like amazing video of him like coming right up on the stage right in front of us. And he starts with his song, the I'm not OK and the whole place just erupts. It's amazing. And like, I have chills just telling you right now. It I was got so too. cool. It's one and of the coolest concerts I've ever been to in my life. It was electric. I mean, like, it was just everybody there Taylor, can I was a hundred percent there. They were just so freaking excited to yeah. be there. It was yeah. cool. And then, so we start singing and all of a sudden we feel this heat and we look up and there's this like housing structure on fire fire yeah and it's coming down on top of him That's crazy and then he's performing <laughs> under this wooden thing it wasn't wooden it was it, it was metal wooden. it was metal it had gas going through it mm. and they lit it was yeah. a gas like gas stove yeah but it looked like a, it looked like he was standing in like a burning barn yeah yeah and yeah. It, it was very wow. cool yeah, and he super cool. he played like three or four songs right there and then or maybe it was just two or three i don't know and then he like walked up through the crowd up to the front stage and it was it was a hell of a show. It was amazing. And but we we were a little crammed where we were and at this point we hadn't had a chance to go to the bathroom. And we really need to go to the bathroom and Derek reaches over and taps me and he's like I am having so much fun but my feet don't want to stand anymore. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I understand. And it, we were like, okay, it's time to go find our seats. So we leave, yeah. we go to the bathroom, we get up to our seats and what happened, mom? I left my phone in the bathroom. Ah. I had a lot of stuff going on. I had a I mean, lot yeah. of stuff. And then, so Alexander K was one of his opening acts. And my only regret of the evening is I did not get to see her perform because we were waiting to meet Jelly Roll. I started following her on TikTok a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, she's she's a local independent artist. She's from Waterloo, Illinois. She is cute as a freaking button. She's She's got this she's beautiful like voice, Liv you know. Morgan. And I was so stoked when I found out that she was the opening act and then I didn't get to see her. Well, she came back out on stage right when I leave to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she's like, come on, mom, she's on stage. I'm like, I can't shut this off. I got, you know, got to finish my business. So I, there was a lot going on. I left my phone. 
We get, I run out there. I did catch her talking to him on the big screen. I didn't really get to hear her saying, which was kind of a bummer. We get all the way over to our seats. And, and we're I, in the middle of the row. Like we had to make all these people stand up. There's actually people in our seats they got when we got out, there. Yeah. And like the usher had to t- kick them out of our seats. And then we get all the way into the middle of our seats. And, and mom's I, like, <gasps> I don't have my phone. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess we, we had to go, go back the other down way. to the belly of enterprise. I will say I forgot this too. When we were in the little back by the stage area with the tech crew, um, we Derek and I actually did take a tequila shot with Jelly Roll's manager. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good for sure. <laughs> yeah, so we did get to do that. I was brave. Yeah, you, you were brave. We we shared one tequila shot. I gotta be honest, I didn't feel very good yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Tequila shots don't really mix with Jenna. No, but I couldn't say no to Jelly Roll's manager. Like, he offered me a shot. I was going to take it. And I uh, took uh, half a uh, shot, and uh, I did not feel great uh, He didn't realize I he should have offered me the shot. <laughs> I'm the one who likes the tequila. It's okay. We, we had it. It was fun. The and tequila then, shots I would do. You know what? Maybe on your birthday, Mom, you and I, Casabores, let's take a tequila shot. <laughs> So it was. I don't care how many. It oh, was wow. cool. Jelly Roll really has a an affinity for St. Louis, and St. Cool. Louis is really special to him. He's played here many times. It's his first time headlining, and he was very excited to be headlining in St. Louis. He said that 105.7 The Point was the first rock radio station to play his song, mm. and so he <sighs> has he finds that to be very special, and he um. He said, this is one of the biggest weeks of my life. And to be playing in St. Louis just feels right. And it is his his album's number one. And that is so freaking cool. In the biggest week of Jelly Roll's life, he got to meet Derek Allen Baker. <laughs> That's right. A little That's dabble right. do you. And so we're the, the show was just incredible, like an amazing, amazing show. And he um he uh, there are a couple funny moments that he had on stage he's like singing and he's like you guys want to see a fat man move (laughs) he started dancing and he also said at one point he said i i want you all to know i am a man of faith but i do i do use that f word a lot (laughs) yeah and he said i believe that heaven has a smoking section and an open bar for people like you and me yeah and uh, it, yeah, it was just it was an incredible show. And he did end the the show again. He actually started the show with fire and ended the show in uh, rain. Rain. Um, it actually and, it the the housing structure went in, uh, got flamed again. Right, it went on fire again, and then started raining. Started on raining it. on it and put it out. And it it was just it was an amazing amazing show. Dad said it's the best concert he's ever been to. It was amazing. Dad enjoyed the heck out of it. Oh, it was sure. amazing. It was. I we mean, the, the man every is, single concert. Yeah, the, he's just so real. Like what you see on social media and you know podcasts and the, the, whatever. He, he is a hundred percent genuine. You know, yeah. and he's so humble. He comes from modest beginnings uh, and he he's had, a you know, he had a rough life and he knows how blessed he is. And all he wants to do is share his blessings with others. And it's just, I mean, he just, he touched my heart. I just, I love the man. Yeah. I was funny. I was at the rehearsal dinner last night and my friend's husband saw me. Well, okay. So Derek, Jelly Roll posted a video and me and you were in it. Yep. You're kidding. We no, are. it was we super are. cool. He did. He, he basically. Show me. I'll show you after the podcast. It was like a recap of his day Time in St. Louis, Louis and you and Jenna are on it. Yeah. And actually oh. I am too. Yeah. Yeah. In the background, but yeah. not like Jenna and Derek. Win. He posted it last show night. Me. You show we, well, me now. Well, okay. I will. But listen to this. Listen. So I'm at this rehearsal dinner and I'm trying to reshare this into Baker Banner's story because my friend texted to me and was like, you're in this video and I'm putting it in Baker Banner's story. And my friend's husband saw over my shoulder and he's like, yeah, that guy's overrated. And I was like, no, no, no. And I, of course, immediately defended Jelly Roll and I started telling him. No, he's not. And he, I, he's like, oh, you met that's him That's funny, night? guys. That's actually funny. At SummerSlam, when, when I meet Logan Paul, uh-huh. when I meet mm-hmm. Logan Paul, it was a great moment for me for that. And that, 
the next day when I, I was looking at Logan Paul's friends Snapchat and out of blue I was like You were on What? That? I was on Snapchat on Logan Paul's Snapchat. That's so yeah. cool. You're a lucky boy. Logan well, and Derek. Now we got Jelly Roll and Derek. <laughs> so I immediately came to Jelly Roll's defense and I said, no, we actually met him last night. He was really amazing. I was like, not only was he amazing to, to my brother, but he like I told him what happened with Kida and how they prayed over each other. And he was like, yeah, you know, I didn't really mean that. I was just trying to interject into the conversation because I didn't have anybody else to talk to. But um, <laughs> he's like, but I'm really glad you just told me about that. And like, I'll, I'll never say anything like that about that about him again. That's that's really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was it was funny. Um, but yeah, it, it, he truly is just and, and I did. I knew he was going to be great. And he was exceptional. Oh, he was. Yeah, he was beyond great. I mean, I just. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's an inspiration and he is, you know, I listened to the Jay Shetty podcast. Yeah. And one of the things that just really struck me was um, Jelly Roll said that he grew up in a Southern Baptist home and going to a Southern Baptist church. And after he started playing these big venues, um, people were commenting that they went to the Jelly Roll concert. They went to church and he was like, oh, no, like you, you can't say that like that. I you can't you can't compare me to church. Like church is church. Jesus is Jesus. You can't compare me to him. Right. That, that, and his wife said, you know, she calls him Jay. Jay, some of these people will never step foot in a church, but they're going to come to your concert and they're going to hear your faith. This is church. This is their church. This, this is, is their church. This is the closest they're going to get to church. Yeah. And it's just like, he's amazing. This he man is. is amazing. He's, he well, you know, had a hard church. Not okay. only is is he so amazing and does he impact people like that, but he fan. But he wanted to meet you, yeah. Derek. He, he wanted a hug from Derek Baker, which is amazing. It was so cool. Well, he did, and it makes my heart sing. Yeah. So after the show, we were headed out. Um, there was a lot of people who had had a lot of fun, and but we get into the parking lot, <laughs> and this this you're, person. You guys up. What I forget? You ever got after the concert when you were dancing? Oh yeah, Derek's like dancing with this like random woman. I posted on Snapchat. I'm like, who brought this guy? She was very sweet, and we did actually see Kita and her I family was again at that point. Dance with her, so you yeah. arms like just, just don't care. And and, and her daughter, her was daughter like, was just shaking her head like, oh god, I don't know her. She's a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. No like, teenagers know their mom. Yeah. Well, we got to the car and this. As we're getting as we're getting in the car, we hear this other car yell, "Are you guys the Baker family?" <laughs> and Mom's like, "We might be." And then Derek didn't really get to say hi to him because he was already in the car by the time they were yelling this. And so then Derek's like, "I gotta say hi." And so he rolls down our window, and he sticks his almost half his person out the window, and he just starts yelling Marco at them. And he like gave him no contact. He's <laughs> yeah, just like, yelling Marco. Marco. And he kept yelling Marco until they got the point. Well, and then, actually, I yelled out my window, Polo. Yeah, yeah. And then they took mom's cue. And they're like, oh, that's what he's saying. And that's what we're playing. And then all four of them had their windows rolled down. And their whole car is screaming back at Derek, Polo. <laughs> and Derek's like yelling, Marco. And they went back and forth. And it was really funny. And then two of the girls actually got out of the car and ran over. Because we were dead stopped. Yeah, you know, they, we they grabbed a selfie with Derek. And uh, it was, was yeah, it was just. It was I, an incredible night. I, I like had remember it forever. I like almost felt like I had, well, the tequila shot definitely didn't sit well with my stomach. But I also <laughs> felt like I almost had like an emotional hangover yesterday. Because it was just like, I, I couldn't believe how special it really was. It really was. We were, so, we are so, so blessed and so fortunate. And I'm so thankful. Derek did mm. say to me in the co in the car, it was really sweet. He said, Jenna, you make my life more cool and way more fun. Yeah, that That's was awesome. sweet. And I did tell Kyle yesterday, I was like, it if we never do dead. another cool thing because of Baker Banner ever again, it was worth it to get to be able to do yeah. that yeah, because that was, that was cool. amazing. But um, mom has something in her pocket and Jack actually has something behind his back because I what don't do know you if want? you noticed, Derek, 
But I actually have a special shirt on. Do you see? Oh, uh, yeah. Try to roll. Do you think I got one and didn't get you one? Or do you think we probably hooked you up, too? Well, it looks like you got a general t-shirt. How cool is that? I love that one. Don't you love that That's one? Great. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome, Derek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Jenna and Mom. Yeah. Uh, okay, now you're getting a little we more did, accurate. We did pick that out after we went back down under the belly of Enterprise Center to get Mom's phone. I'm like, Thankfully, let's buy that T-shirt. the bathroom she left her phone in was the bathroom that, like, very few people in the building had access yeah, yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we there. did have to go all the way back down to get it, but luckily it was no, still there. Cool. Derek, I get no credit for that shirt, by the way. I yeah. just want to make that clear. But, I, that's right. But Derek it. or Jack did know on Tuesday when we recorded about the jelly roll thing and he was pretty jealous. And he, I told him, I was like, whatever you do, don't tell Derek anything about jelly roll because he doesn't know yet. But yeah, it was it was just incredible. But I, I can't he was say he was our substitute. If dad couldn't go, he was number four. Yeah, Jack was going to come. That's as close as we get you. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's in your pocket, Okay. Mom? So so we taped a little bit early today. Um, Derek typically has to do a workout on Fridays so that he can watch WWE without mom going, what do you do all day? And we were having an argument. I did. Yes, they were they were arguing when I called And I'm like, you're not going to get it done. Just take your shower and relax. And you'll have to do it after. And he said, I'm getting it done. I'm getting it done. Normally, it takes him literally two hours to get 100 calories on the bike. It's stupid. Like, I, he barely moves. Mm-hmm. Like, you could get it done in 15 minutes. And I said, Derek, if you get it done, I will hand you 20 bucks. Derek. Whoa. No way. Hey, throw the bike. You all got it right, done? Man. In 30 it minutes worth and 30 seconds. Guess what, though? We need to start holding this board I more know what you can do now. Uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> so these two-hour bike rides where you're singing in the other room and I'm trying to work and it's taking you two hours to get 100 calories, those days are long gone, buddy. Enjoy that $20. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just have to say thank you to Highlight. Can you thank you t-shirts? to Jelly Roll. Thank you to Nick. Thank you to Highlight. The, Did you? Say I said Highlight, highlight first. Yeah. Both. I am just it. It. We truly had one of the most special nights of our lives with all of you, and we are so 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 grateful. And I, they did say when we're in St. Louis, you just got to let us know, and we'll come see you. And so I hope that we get to go many more times because like I think he's just getting like started. Chocolate. Oh yeah. Look, Brian. No, like jelly roll, jelly roll. Yeah. Derek. You're right. I know. J- J- roll. All right. What do you got there, mom? Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to plug the JBJ creative. Um, if either of you have ladies in your lives, whether they're girlfriends, sisters, mothers, mothers, whatever. Um, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, mm-hmm, whatever. Mm-hmm. I ordered my own JBA J Creative, and I told you earlier that menopause is a bitch and not for sissies. I tried to wear this sweatshirt today and had a hot flash. I had to take it off. But <laughs> okay. this is my pumpkin, my pumpkin, my All fall right. sweatshirt that I got from JBJ Creative. And this is my Christmas sweatshirt. Hold it up a little higher, Val. Yep. Nice. Right. Isn't that cute? So, and they do, she does have, um, she does have two uh, designs. Those. One says naughty and I know it, and the other one says nice and I know it. So if you have <laughs> two sisters, maybe you need one for each. Jack does. One. I have two sisters. <laughs> Jack I'm, does have two sisters. Yeah. I don't know if that pegs them. One naughty and one nice. But anyway, there you go. Oh, that absolutely pegs them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are, are cool. And I. I have exciting news, like, like, f- for example, that general t-shirt, love it. 20 bucks, awesome. Those epic trailers you have, that is awesome, too. But this is super exciting. What is that? That is, AEW Dynamite I- is coming to Kansas City, Missouri. Does it's also short-term coming to St. Memory Louis. Loss? You already told us that. It's also coming to St. Louis. Well, St. Louis is a quicker drive. Well, well, get this mop. AEW collision is coming to St. Louis. You're right about that. He's giving Dory right now. 
<laughs> and AEW Dynamite will be in in KC, KC Missouri. Awesome. We, we might, we, we, we might. We'll see what we can do. Figure something out. All, All right. right. So, hopefully your your schedule is ready. All right. Yeah, we'll see about that. Good luck. So. Don't forget Jenna's Etsy store for Christmas, everybody. Yep. Check it out. It's at the check link in our out. bio. Um, we do. We would show you our uh, Baker Banner merch. But here's the thing. Mom, mom oh. messed up. I bought Baker Banner merch. The, you know, Derek for president. Yeah. Derek and the Bodcap. Der- I sent well, it here's- to our buddy Jared in Philadelphia because <laughs> I had sent Jared last Christmas a sweatshirt, a Baker Banner sweatshirt, or maybe it was this spring. Yeah, I think it was like his birthday or something. And I sent him a Baker. Ba- I paid. I bought it and sent him this Baker Banner sweatshirt. Uh, oh and yeah. And when I bought all this merch, this Derek Baker for President merch that we need to like, it's, it's almost over. Thank God, I'm so tired of all that bullshit. But anyway, uh, I didn't change the shipping, so Jared got five Derek for Shirts. President T-shirts. <laughs> And I'm hoping they're he's coming. They're, send they them should here. arrive on Saturday. Yeah. He texted me. But yeah, um, so we can't show you the Baker Banner merch because mom, you know, did that. Send it to Pennsylvania. But it is on the way here. It is on our website, bakerbanner.com. It is funny. Yep. It will be not, less problematic than I, other political merch. Can I wear. backtrack? It sounds like you're already going to do it. I did uh, hear, hear something about. The, the metal plate I want, something like a gunshot or something was, like that. Yeah, it was just a metal plate. It was road. the way he said it, though. I feel like those are gunshots. So casual. Like, just no big deal. I'm like, what? Speaking of gunshots, I know. We got to wrap this up. Holy shit, though. I was at the Kirkwood <gasps> Walmart last week, a week ago today. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And I'm sitting there in line. It, to take a left hand turn into this parking lot this truck's coming at me so i'm waiting for him to pass me so i can turn into my spot okay no big deal he gets right he kind of screeches and stops next to me then there's this big ass black suv screaming down this i'm in a parking lot it is screaming through these cars and he flips his lights on and i'm like oh shit i'm like stuck there's a car behind me this guy stopped this guy's screaming at me The guy in the truck gets out of the truck, swings his door open, runs in front of me with a gun in his hand. He gets past me and I see that it says police on his back. I'm like, thank you, God. And then I'm I'm looking where they're going. This young man is getting out, trying to get out of his car and starting to run. There's police officers coming, like seven or eight of them, all with their guns drawn at this kid. And I'm stuck in my car and cannot move. Thank God no shots were fired. Wow. That's crazy. Because I would have been right in the middle of it. Just because I was going to Walmart to get dog food. Uh-huh. So then she cried and went to Hobby Lobby instead. I did. I cried and went to <laughs> Hobby Lobby and <laughs> made a return. Had, had, re- <laughs> had some retail therapy at Hobby Lobby to make her I bought, feel better. yeah, <laughs> $20 return, bought $60 worth of shit. That's girl math. It only cost me $40. <laughs> Oh, it was scary. And then I went back to Walmart and got my dog food. Sounds like a good song. I cried to Hobby Lobby. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway, we got to go. We got to wrap this up. Jack's got a place to be. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Don't forget, we have the weekly wrestling top 10 on Thursdays. Thank you all for being so incredibly nice to my son. Next week, we do have NHR driver Justin Ashley. We're excited for you guys to listen to that conversation. Um, leave a positive review. We will talk to you guys on Thursday. Peace. Peace. Peace.